Hey guys, Chris from Red here. Now that we've finished shooting our masterpiece, it's time to offload the footage. Quickly eject the mag using the one and two user keys. Now you've got a few different options when it comes to offloading Red Mags. But one of my personal favorites is the GTEC EV Series Red Mini Mag Reader. You can power it directly and use it standalone via USB 3.0, or you can use it in one of the various GTEC EV Series products. It's gonna be great for getting you out of here on time because it allows for fast transfers as well as multiple simultaneous offloads through Thunderbolt. Let's take a look. You'll notice that the Red Mag will mount to your desktop just like any other external hard drive would. Quickly open up the Red Mag by double clicking on the folder. On the top level of the Red Mag, you're gonna see a .rdm folder and two .bin files. The two .bin files are really just there to allow the camera to recognize the Red Mag as a Red Mag. You don't really have to pay any attention to them. The most important thing is that .rdm folder. That's gonna contain all of the clips that you just shot. Inside the .rdm folder, you're gonna find your .rdc folders. These pertain to each individual clip you recorded in camera. You can think of .rdc as red digital clip. So for example, if we open up this first .rdc folder, you're gonna see the .r3d file. In the second .rdc folder, you're gonna find not only the .r3d file, but also a .mov file. This just means we recorded ProRes and R3D files simultaneously in camera. And finally, in our third .rdc folder, you'll notice that the camera recorded both R3Ds and Avid MXF files simultaneously. The best part of all this is that any of the proxy files you record simultaneously in camera with the R3D files, they're going to match in clip name and timecode, making it really, really easy to relink those files in post.